You're listening to the podcast, My Story, My Song with host Nathan Mock. On today's episode, you'll hear Nathan tell you another compelling story about the writer of the song and what inspired the song to be written. You'll also hear a great arrangement of the song by Nathan or one of his friends. And now, let's go to Nathan Mock for today's story. Today's story is an autobiography written as a hymn. It revolves around a man named Robert Robinson, born in 1735. Robert was a rather difficult, headstrong boy, you could say, and when his dad died, things only got worse for his mother. At the age of 14, he was sent to London to become a barber's apprentice, but it didn't take him long to join up with a notorious gang at the time and live a life that wasn't good in any way. Well, that was until he heard a sermon preached by the famous Reverend George Whitefield. After hearing the message, it moved him deeply and it made him rethink his life and how he was living it. Robert became a Christian in 1755 and felt led to preach as a Methodist. The self-taught Robinson was appointed by John Wesley himself to the Calvinist Methodist Chapel in Norfolk, England. It was there to accompany his sermon for Pentecost Sunday in 1758, the three-year anniversary of his conversion, that he penned the words of this hymn, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. After some time, Robert began questioning his beliefs and eventually he changed to be a Baptist, embracing the Baptist theological perspectives. He was rebaptized in 1759. This led to his nearly 30-year relationship as pastor of Stoneyard Baptist Church at Cambridge. Baptist hymnologist William Reynolds notes that Robinson was an unusual man, and while lacking formal education, he rose to great prominence as a preacher and scholar. One particularly interesting story that's been told about Mr. Robinson was that in a spiritually backslidden condition, the author was traveling in a stagecoach one day. His only companion was a young woman unknown to him. In the providence of God and not realizing who it was that she spoke with, the woman quoted, Come thou fount of every blessing, saying what an encouragement it had been to her. And try as he might, Robinson could not get her to change the subject. Finally, he said with tears in his eyes, Madam, I am the poor unhappy man who composed that hymn many years ago, and I would give a thousand worlds if I had them to enjoy the feelings I had then. Gently, she replied, Sir, the streams of mercy are still flowing. He was deeply touched by that, and as a result of the encounter, he repented. His fellowship with the Lord was restored through the ministry of his own hymn and a Christian's willing witness. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, O take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. Please enjoy this arrangement of Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing.
Thank you for listening to today's episode of My Story, My Song with host Nathan Mott. Please remember to subscribe to this podcast on the app you use to hear all of the latest stories and music. And check out Nathan's website at www.nathanmott.com to keep up with all of Nathan's music ministries, including other web shows, his email newsletter, tour schedule, and much more. Until next time, thank you again for listening to My Story, My Song.